Peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. We are here in the art gallery. How to get one million subscribers. Let's just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana baby. So I got a question, how do you get one million subscribers? That's a lot. Well, I realized the formula. And I'm going to share it with you today. And if you follow these steps, you'll probably get a thousand. No, you probably get a lot more. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> okay, let me share with you what's helped me along my journey get over one million subscribers. As I see it, social media is the future. And you want to be looking into how you can build your brand online because this is the future. So many people are on their smartphone and you can share a message, you can inspire millions of people, so why not? You don't wanna do it, don't worry about it. Okay, <laughs> be consistent. Let's start right there. I know a lot of people who are like, Ralph, I started a YouTube channel and I made a video and then I stop, Ralph. You see, that's why. Consistency is the key to building anything. You gotta do it daily. Now, if you can't create a video a day, do it once a week. But you see, in the beginning, if you wanna really grow your YouTube channel, because there are a lot of benefits that come with YouTube. Like, first of all, you get to travel around the world and sit on the beach and just create from your laptop vlog around as well, right? Who doesn't want that? <laughs> Be consistent. So when I first started YouTube, I was very inconsistent. I would make a video once a month and then once every three weeks, then I got it down to once a week. That was good. Then I realized, okay, it's hard that way. Unless your video goes viral, even then it's not guaranteed. So I started to realize why can't I create a video a day? Like sometimes I just spend hours doing absolutely nothing, right? So I love you deep divers. I wanna share with you guys and girls and ladies and fellas. So consistency is key. Start producing content on a consistent basis and you are gonna grow at an exponential rate. Now, this is the real secret a lot of top YouTubers won't tell you, that if you really wanna get over 1 million subscribers, you have to do the what I call, what the hell was that? Game-changing video. Like, what the hell was that? Okay? A video, a video that is literally gonna get people out of their chair and say, what the hell? You see, because we wanna play it safe. The internet wasn't made for mediocre content. There's a great book called Contagious, which shows you the science of going viral, of building a brand, of getting a huge audience. And you gotta be a bit different. You gotta make what I call the game-changing video. I've done videos on the pineal gland. That went viral. It inspired so many people. So you don't wanna play it safe. If you're just doing the same kind of video, that's cool. But you always need to push the boundaries to say, okay, let me try this. The, what the hell was that kind of video? Now check this out. It will probably be a video that is very controversial, but that's what you want because that's the game changing video that will take you to the next level of fame and fortune. Basically you'll be with the cat down the road. Okay, <laughs> now look at it like this. Many people, when I say 1 million subscribers, they're like, oh my gosh, that's so many. I could never do that. But the people that actually do it are the people who believe they can. And it's possible. I'm talking about all kinds of topics and I've done it. But you've got to learn how to really expose yourself. That's right, you gotta be vulnerable. 
You see, that's how you connect to an audience. That's how you build your friend base. I don't call it a fan base, just a friend base, right? You got to connect with people. So you got to be vulnerable. You don't want to appear like you've got it all figured out, right? You don't want to appear like you got it all figured out. When I first started making videos, I was like, what am I doing? I don't know. But the reason why I have so many subscribers is because people have seen me go from this to this. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. YouTube is probably the hardest one to crack because it's real. Okay. Like to get subscribers on YouTube is not easy, but it's easier if you are vulnerable, if you open up to people, tell them what happened to you at 10 years old, tell them who ate the cookies. Okay. Get vulnerable. We love seeing people who are vulnerable confessions. That's how you really connect to people. You get into their emotions. Does your content move me in any single way? Can I get a hello? Yeah. Dare to be different, which means you got to dare to be yourself. You see, you are already enough. Some people are like, Ralph, I was making YouTube videos, but I just stopped because nobody was watching me. I only had a hundred views and I only have 10 subscribers. That's okay if you are yourself, because trust me, if you keep producing content that is good and you like and other people like, you will grow. I know a lot of YouTubers, some who have even millions of subscribers, and they're like, when they first started, they had hardly any subscribers for a long time. Same as me, but you gotta keep going on. Forget about getting viral videos because some channels have viral videos, but they don't have a lot of subscribers. To get that friend base, <laughs> you need to just be yourself. We are drawn to authenticity. If you can just be yourself, you are gonna produce a hell of a lot of content. Like I make these videos in one take because I don't wanna sit down and edit all day. I got, I gotta to go to the beach right now, right? <laughs> so the authenticity shows because if I make a mistake, if I fumble a word up, mess a word up, that's like, oh my gosh, that's so natural, Ralph. So that's a good excuse, right? Authenticity is how you grow your channel. Be authentic. Don't try to be someone else. Develop your own style, have your own signature. Like, is there something you do that nobody else can do? Well, keep doing that. Maybe it's a cool intro, like, peace. Don't do that, because I already do that. Think of something else. I'll help you, I'll help you. And the cat down the road will, okay? I've realized this seven day vegan challenge. You got to get personal. Like I keep saying, I've been a vegan for over 13 years. I started a plant-based diet. You got to get personal. When people know what you eat, they're like, okay, should I subscribe to them or not? Okay. Because what you eat is very personal and people can connect to you. They can relate to you stuffing a whole load of blueberries in your mouth. Like I'm so proud that I've spared the life of so many animals. And people see this, they're like, okay, Ralph's pretty compassionate. But if you leave me with those mangoes, they're gone. I'm so sorry about that, right? <laughs> so share your food journey, share different parts of your life. Now, some people like vlogging. I've done a bit of that, but for me, this is my preferred style. So you've got to find the style, you've got to get personal. How I get personal is, I love to say this, this is what's helped me along my journey. You always hear me say that, right? This is what's helped me along my journey. I'm not claiming that I'm a know-it-all. No, I don't. I'm just saying, hey, this is my experience. When you say that, people are like, oh, I get it. That's just their experience. And then, and then, and then people open up to you even more. What I've realized along my journey is that you've got to really enjoy what you're doing. 
because YouTube is very hard to crack because everyone's like, I want that YouTube lifestyle where you just wake up every day and make a video and go to the beach and get paid lots of money. That only happens to like a few people on YouTube, right? <laughs> I'm one of them. No. <laughs> I realize this, that you got to really enjoy what you're doing because it's tough. You see a lot of top YouTubers won't tell you that living this lifestyle of a YouTuber is fantastic, but it is also very difficult in the beginning. That's just the truth. You gotta work your butt off. You gotta invest, you gotta buy cameras, you gotta buy good microphones. I've spent probably, I would say over $20,000, easy, just on equipment, easy, 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 easy. Laptops, 2000 pounds. Do you know how many videos I've made? That's a lot of hard drive, right? A lot of <laughs> terabytes, right? You gotta invest in YouTube. You gotta buy stuff to create. You gotta find the right tools that complement your energy. Now, what I've seen, how my channel just blew up, Infinite Waters diving deep once again, baby. <laughs> was this, I realized, okay, I get it. Nobody is really listening to what you're saying. Are you listening to the words that are coming out of my mouth? No, you're not. Okay, don't worry about it. But you are feeling the energy. You see, it doesn't matter what you say, it matters about the energy behind the words. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. And that's why I've seen along my journey that tap into your energy. If you want to create that magnetic energy to get over 1 million subscribers, tap into your energy, which is so awesome anyway. And then you start to realize, oh my gosh, I can talk about pretty much anything. Pots and pans, how to find the perfect partner, just a casual day, health, food, whatever it is, it doesn't matter what you're talking about, just as long as you have tuned into your energy and you can unleash that amazing, beautiful energy so the whole world can feel it, including the cat down the road. Now, provide value. You gotta provide value, because I see it time and time again. You see, I've, I've turned YouTube into a lifestyle where every single day I wake up with a bunch of grapes in my mouth. How did I do that? Because I started to realize, okay, I just, I don't, I don't want viral videos. Because once again, there are a lot of channels with viral videos, but they have hardly any subscribers. You see, what you really want is that subscriber base, because that shows you how many people are actually tuning in to what you have to put out. Plus you get a gold button, which looks pretty cool. Provide value. It's what I call the long shelf life. You see, in the early days of YouTube, people would just create and they would talk about a celebrity story. But what they forgot to do was to create a video, create a video which people will go back to in 10 years time. Like a classic example of mine is how to stop absorbing other people's energy. People are still watching that video, okay? pineal gland video, people are still watching that video, marijuana video, people are still watching that video and they will continue to watch that video because lots of children are smoking marijuana these days anyway, right? So you gotta create for a long shelf life. And also, this is a big secret. Well, now you know, put yourself in the thumbnail. That's how you build authority. Because when I first started YouTube, I was putting like someone else in the thumbnail or just the random picture in the thumbnail, that's great. But at the same time, if you put your face, not only, if you put your face in the thumbnail, not only do you get more confidence, but people are like, oh my gosh, their face is so beautiful. <laughs> people can see you. And if that video does well, they will equate that success to your face. Okay, so you just have to have authentic thumbnails, put yourself in the thumbnail. Your face is beautiful, don't hide it, show it. Realize this, that 
you got to be prepared to create sometimes at really strange times, like a Saturday or Sunday. Days when you really want to be doing something else. But then again, if you really love what you're doing, you would create then. Create on a Wednesday, Thursday, basically create every day of the week. If you can, if you really, if you really are serious about getting over 1 million subscribers. Oh, it doesn't matter about the numbers, Ralph. Who cares? Well, it doesn't, but it does. Because once again, it just shows like, oh my gosh, it's possible. And it so is possible. I've realized this, that you got to tune in to your audience. Like, what are my audience what are they going through? And that's why I'm always answering people's questions. So that's why they can relate to me because I'm answering your question. Make your content as well more relatable. Okay. I'm talking about a whole plethora of different topics, a whole range of different topics, which if, I, if the food one doesn't interest you, this one will, but I'm not really trying to get your attention. I'm so enjoying what I'm doing. Like you watching me is just a byproduct of that. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. What I've really seen is that you got to collaborate with people. Talk to other YouTubers. If you really want to grow huge audience, talk to other YouTubers. Yeah. Talk to other YouTubers and say this, say this, please let's do a video together. And they'll be like, no. And then you're like, okay, don't worry about it. You'll see. Because one day, <laughs> collaborate with people. If you have 8,000 subscribers and someone else has 8,000, collaborate with them. Then both of you are going to grow exponentially. I was collaborating with so many people back in the day. And that's why my channel grew because I was crossing audiences. Look at it like this. The video that scares you the most is going to be the video that will change your life, that will give you this YouTube lifestyle so every day you can wake up with a bunch of grapes in your mouth. Now, I'm scared to do it, Ralph. That's why you got to do it. Do you know how many videos I've done where I was like so scared to make them? Because I'm like, what are people going to think? That's a good thing, right? Because once again, you are now pushing the boundaries. That is the game changer. So talk about stuff that you are thinking of. And if you're afraid to talk about it, it means you really got to talk about it. And that's how to get over 1 million subscribers. You got to realize you can't plan it, but there are definitely tools and techniques that can definitely give you a better chance of getting over 1 million subscribers. You got to be able to create consistently. It always goes back to consistency and enjoyment for what you are doing. Don't just start and then stop because then it's definitely not going to happen. But if you actually continue, I guarantee you, you are going to grow exponentially. And then you'll just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? There. We are here in the art gallery, just... Whoa! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Getting high. Stay well. Stay healthy. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You. <laughs>